In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to remove the background from a raster image and replace it with a different background in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I am going to do is bring in my raster image. I'll just drag and drop that in. This is a JPEG of a uh, picture of a calculator obviously with a wood grain background and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the wood grain background and replace it with a different texture. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> align the picture to my page. Okay. Next I'm going to zoom in on this corner and basically what I'm going to do is take our Bezier tool and I'm going to digitize around here. And the more accurate you are with it, the, the better it'll look. I'm going to go fairly quickly. go. Now <clears throat> I did notice that I made a minor mistake right here so what I'm going to do is click on these two things. Just kind of pull that in just a little bit. There we go. Okay <clears throat> now what we'll do is I'll click on our path that we've just drawn okay and I'll go up to object or path I'm sorry and we'll do a simplify there we go and now I'm going to zoom out on this and I'm gonna take this path that we've just drawn and I'm gonna do a duplicate on that oops get the path here there we go I'll slide that out to the side. Now I'm going to take our path. I'm going to take our image. We'll go to Object, Clip, and Set. That removes the background. Now we haven't really deleted the background. The background is still there. So if we highlight our image again and, and pick Release, you'll see that it's still there. So now that we have this, what I'm going to do next is take our duplicated path, we'll give it a fill, and I'm going to give this about a 3.5 blur, slide this underneath, and we're going to create a shadow for our calculator. There we go. Okay, now I can bring in my new texture, our new texture is just a JPEG. I'll slide it to the back and I'll align it to the page. And there we go. There's our calculator setting on some sand. So basically what I've done to roll this back, if I hit release, whoops, try this again here. If I hit release, you'll see that's our original image. Undo. We've added a drop shadow and we've dropped it on a different texture. 
and that's how you change backgrounds. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.